lovely walk to get to this church today. We're not far from the Colosseum. There's these amazing arches that we have to walk under to get to the church. Uh, I just wanted to say a quick thing though. Uh, a lot of you have written me and said that you're loving the videos, but they look terrible in grayscale because <laughs> so many of you are doing grayscale for lit. Um, these are all being uploaded, not only to Instagram and Facebook, but also to YouTube. And on YouTube, they're uploaded in 4K. So if you want, you can watch the high definition version on your TV via YouTube. Um, so I just wanted to mention that for you. And then also, I've had quite a few new patrons over the last couple of days. Thank you so much for that. Uh, but also some of you are asking me how to become a patron. So that information is on my website and you can just go to thecatholictraveler.com and there's a link there to become a patron. Um, but there are two ways you can do it. You can either, either go through patreon.com, that's patreon.com slash thecatholictraveler, or there's a link for PayPal as well if you just wanna make like a one-time donation. And it really, really helps us with these videos because uh, every day we're going out, it's me, Christina, uh, Amelia, Lily, and then we edit the videos and it's a lot of work. It's a lot of fun, but it's a lot of work and um, we really hope you enjoy it. And so if you can help out with that, it's a big help for us. So let's get to this church because uh, I think you're gonna love this one. Today's church is Santi Giovanni Paolo. Yep, Saints John and Paul, but not the John and Paul that you know from the Bible. Nope, these are two very wealthy and popular Roman citizens. And so they were Christian. So again, they would allow the Christians into their home to celebrate the sacraments. This is where they lived. Did I say they were brothers? I didn't say they were brothers. No. They were brothers. They were brothers. Yeah, so this was their home. It wasn't like they were two just dudes living together. This was their home, they were brothers. Um, but do you know what happened to Christians in the early days of the church? They died. They died. They were martyred. And so the same thing happened to John and Paul. But because they were so famous, the emperor didn't want to martyr them in public. He wanted to do it privately so it wouldn't give these guys notoriety and make them even more famous. So he did it in their home. He brought them to their home and killed them. That's fun. Yeah. And they were buried here. And then over time, their friends would come and visit their tomb. Guess what happened to the friends? They died. Yeah, the emperor didn't like them visiting the tomb. And so he pulled three of them away, chopped their head off right over the tomb. This dude really likes to kill people. Yeah. All right, so the church we're gonna go into is beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful churches in Rome. And that's because it was the titular church of New York. So every cardinal in the world has a church here in Rome. And this one was Cardinal Spellman's. And so when it was his church, he did a lot of restoration, but he also got the Waldorf Astoria, a very fancy hotel, to donate crystal chandeliers. And so we're gonna see those when we go inside as well. Fancy. Yeah. So it's very popular with weddings. So you'll often see a lot of pigeons out here eating all the, the rice and bread and whatever people throw at weddings. Wedding sweepers. Wedding sweepers, yeah. And there's also a person buried here St. Paul of the Cross. So this is the Passionist Church of Rome. Um, and his tomb is in there. So we're gonna take a look at that as well. Sound good? Mm -hmm. All right. Ciao. Bye.
for one. We went, hey guys, you went, hey guys. Okay, let's get some bloopers. Don't put that in. <laughs> come back, come back. Alright, girls. His, uh, their friends, there's a dog here. They're